So, hi and welcome to everyone here. I'm Luca from RetroGadget and this is my first introduction video to RetroGadget. We will learn how to build a small gadget and light up a LED while pressing a button. So what you see here is our RetroGadget screen. This is the multi-tool, your interface to the uh, RetroGadget world. I mean, you can code gadgets from here and browse, you can see gadget made by the community like here discover you can see a lo lot of gadgets made by the community or use it as a starting point so let's start to create a new gadget for us so create a new gadget brings us here you can see opens up the boards pa uh, drawer here we can find some basic boards so let's grab a couple of boards here and well, make it a little bit nicer like putting this round shaped board and another one with the red with the sorry right mouse button I can you can see flip the potatoes the, bo the board piece so the board shape so I can put this here and this one here uh, let's say another one here okay just nicer then grab your solder iron and solder the boards together as you can, as you have soldered the boards, you can also unsolder them. I don't know if unsolder is an English word. Anyway, you got the point, or you can stick them together again. I don't like this power button here, so opening up the mesh drawer and just dragging this here and dragging in this one, it sticks to the borders, and I move this component here. Yet this small component here, you see, it's one we use to open the board and flip. You see, open your gadget and flip the board. Now, on the front face, let's place some output components, like a couple of LEDs. I'm making probably the most awkward gadget ever. No, not really the most awkward ever. I've seen the community made a lot of wonderful thing and a lot of awkward thing. And I love it. But let's say we're making this face-shaped gadget. You c with the shift key, you can see sh zoom in. Uh, let's see. Okay, now we have some LEDs. We need a button to trigger on and off the LEDs. So let's select this one and place it here. Okay, nice awkward face. Then grab your airbrush. Just give it a little of color, little of color to our gadget. Oh, nice. The blue over face. Nice. Let's color even the, the button. You can color components like this. And let's start to code. Well, to start to code, we do need to add. Oh, let me here. We do need to add a CPU. So I will flip the board. You see audio chips, CPUs, and video chips. Now let's stick to the CPU. Drag the CPU here. It's needed to code the gadget. Flip it back again. Open up the drawer. Okay, multi tool. You can see adding the CPU. Added a CPU.lua component, a uh, component, sorry, file in our asset list. I can edit it and start the code here. First thing, if you write down GDT dot, you see a list of all your components appears here. Those are all the components inside your gadget. The th important thing now, um, we're working with LADs. So GDT dot LAD zero is probably this one. You can select it, you can see the selector here, and LED0. So this is LED0, this is LED1, and this is LED strip. So go straight into the update function, which is executed every single time tick, and write down if GDT dot LED button 0, which is this one. You see, GD button 0 equals Oh, sorry, dot button state equals true, which means is pressed. Then and 
this then hand marks a block so things inside here are executed only if button state is true so we can write down gdt dot lad0 dot state equals true you can see the comparison operator is two equal signs it means that I'm comparing thing and one equal sign means that I'm assigning something so and gdt dot lad one dot state equals true okay so if my button is pressed then lad state zero and one must be true let's try it just turn on your gadget and okay you see I press it and those are both on but it doesn't change anything if I press it or release again so let's make some changes in our code get rid of this LED button state and this one and try a simpler way to do it it's like gdt dot LED zero dot state equals gdt dot LED button zero dot button state and same thing here so I basically wrote this sentence the state of LAD0 and LAD1 is equal to the state of the button so this means true if it's pressed and so the LAD state will be true if the button is true and false if it's false so this means that I turn on the gadget and I press it it's true and false true and false so I can do this over thing here okay see but I also want to light up this LED strip here. It's made of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight LEDs. So this should work in a pretty slightly different way because I can light up individual LED LEDs. So uh, let's use the for construct. It's for uh, let's name a variable like uh, uh, let's say LED count equals one two. Um, eight do and as for the if this is let's go here a block okay and inside this block LED count will value one then two then three then four till eight okay this is cycle through values so now I can uh, write something like this GDT dot LED strip zero dot states that's an array of states square bracket LAD count square bracket equals let's just copy this one because I'm a very very lazy person so I'm going to copy this one okay um, I think we should press this plus button which you see which gets us a smaller font and it's easier to read so this means that for each LED from 1 to 8 inside the LED strip checks the LED button and assigns the state so if I just turn this on and try now to press you can see okay it's getting more and more awkward every single time then uh, one last thing um, I want to do here just shut it down um, select this component you can see the in the inspector here I can change states and colors so just a trick I'm just toggling all these states on that makes me see what happens and change some colors like let's select a different color or something like more greenish that's too orange for me okay let's say this one I like it Control C then I copy on the second button oh sorry I just pressed control control C again so control C and control V and then I leave one red because it will be more awkward this way control V control V um, control V here and here and then another one red and last one a control V like this okay uh, now I can just turn oh always that error turn off all the 
LEDs. That's the state the LEDs will have at the start. So I don't want that. I want them to be unlit. And then turning on, you see, it works. Okay, that's probably the easiest thing you can make with Retro Gadget. And the, this, this is a small tutorial on how to light up LEDs. Now, if you're happy with your creation, just go here, uh, give your creation a name, like this could be our awkward smile, confirm, give it a description, a small awkward gadget, gadget, confirm, and then publish it on the Steam Workshop, like publish, confirm, oh, See, I, I, I wrote a smoke, so just change it, small, confirm, I need to just move this a little bit here, I oh, need to go in this mode, of course, to move the component, and close it, and update it, confirm. And that's all for now. After a few seconds, depending on what's happening on Steam, you will see your new awkward gadget in the discover section here. So in a few times we'll be here uh, with all other gadget creation by other users. So thank you so much. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. And let's see for the other tutorial. Bye.